On this episode, we will discuss two albums of cigarette cards from the early 1900s that feature the uniforms of the German military before World War I. Then we will take a look and dis discuss my German regimental beer stein for the 112th Infantry Regiment of the German Army. On October 2nd, a local antique cum general emporium shop based in my hometown of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, named Curiosity Incorporated, had an auction to clear out some of the shop's excess stock. At this auction, I won the two albums of cigarette cards that we will take a look at today. Cigarette cards were produced in the late 1800s up to the 1940s to be enclosed in cigarette packages to encourage people to purchase a company's particular brand of cigarettes. These cards would feature images of sports heroes, famous actors and actresses of the time, and images of a general interest. The albums I bought at auction contain cards produced by the Waldorf Astoria Cigarette Company that was in business from 1906 to 1929 in Germany. The name Waldorf Astoria intrigued me and I wondered if it, this cigarette company had anything to do with the famous hotel in New York City. From what I learned this appears not to be the case and the common name between the hotel and the cigarette company is just a coincidence. Since these cigarette card albums are from Germany all the text in them is in German which I do not speak. However, I was able to overcome this problem using a German to English translator service on the internet. Now I cannot say this translation will be 100% accurate, but it came close enough for me to understand what is being expressed in the German text. Let's start with uh, this uh, cigarette album, which is titled The uh, Old Uniforms of the Army. The album had several pages on which the various units of the German army were described before moving on to where the cigarette cards were glued onto the pages provided for that purpose. The album starts out with the colors or flags belonging to the various army units. Then the album moves on to cards showing the uniforms of the infantry, artillery, cavalry, and interesting subjects such as the, a band member and this fellow in a battalion of cyclists. We will continue with our second cigarette album titled Uniforms of the Navy and Protection Services. The album starts out with several pages describing the various ships in the German Navy before moving on to pages where the cigarette cards show the various uniforms in use. We see the uniforms of various uh, ship's officers as well as the uh, non-commissioned ranks on board the ships. Among the European powers, Germany was late to the colonization game. Germany came into being as a united country in 1871 and viewed the acquisition of colonies overseas as a true indication of having achieved nationhood. Germany's foreign colonies were primarily in Africa and were acquired beginning in 1884 during the period known as the Scramble for Africa in which the seven major European powers conquered and divided the continent of Africa among themselves. This foreign empire was short-lived, lasting only about 30 years 
as Germany lost control of her colonies during the First World War. And after the war, the Treaty of Versailles formally stripped her of her empire and divided her colonies among the victorious allies. The Schultztruppen, or protective force, was the German colonial army in her empire. It consisted of volunteer German commissioned and non-commissioned officers with the balance of the non-commissioned ranks being made up of local native troops from her colonies. Returning to my cigarette card album, let's take a look at some of the cards for this force, beginning with German Southwest Africa. German Southwest Africa was given to the Union of South Africa and since 1990 became independent as the country of Namibia. Next we'll move to German East Africa. German East Africa was split up by Britain, Belgium and Portugal and is now the countries of Burundi, Rwanda, Tanzania and Mozambique. Next we will move on to German Togoland. After World War I, uh, Togoland was split up between the British and French and in 1960 gained independence and is now known as the Togolese Republic. Finally we'll move on to the German colony of German Cameroon. Under the Treaty of Versailles, German Cameroons was divided into French Cameroon and British Cameroon. The territory is now parts of the Republic of Cameroon, Gabon, Congo, Central African Republic, and Chad. I think these two cigarette card albums are fascinating and are a fine complement to my uh, German Regimental Bierstein collection. Now we come to the last item on the agenda this episode. My reproduction, a regimental beer stein for the 112th Regiment of the German Infantry from the period before World War I. On the underside of my beer stein is a mark for Kerr Sandriel, uh, Bavaria, Germany. So I suspect the stein was made in the last 10 to 20 years. The beer stein also has a lithopane of King Ludwig II of Bavaria. The beer stein reports to be for the 112th, 4th Baden Infantry, Prince William, which was uh, garrisoned in the town of Malus. Above the portrait of the officer wearing the pickle house is this phrase, which translated to this wise advice Whether on foot or on horseback, wait behind the cannon. Above the portrait of the officer on the right, is this phrase, which translated to, We protect the homeland and the prince's crown. Above the portrait of the two officers is a barracks with soldiers marching in front of it. In very small writing, just below the fringe band, on one side of the stein, is this phrase, One more time, we have to practice hard on the parade field. Below this phrase is a group of soldiers on maneuvers, with another group just below them by a campfire. Above the soldiers by the campfire is the phrase, Oh, how far is he who rests in the heated bivouac? Below the soldiers by the campfire is the phrase, Memory of, which when combined with the German phrase at the bottom of the other side of the stein, becomes memory of my service time. Continuing to the top of this side of the beer stein, just below the fringe band, we come to some more German text that seems to translate to lying at the bivouac fire, then headed home to the water house, below which is more soldiers on maneuvers. The bottom image appears to be a soldier comforting the wife or girlfriend of a fallen comrade. The text in the banner above them seems to translate to, God keep you. It would have been so nice. God keep you. It shouldn't have been. 
On either side of the beer stein handle are the names of the men serving in the unit. Their term of service is given as 1902 to 1904. Normally, the name of the soldier to whom the beer stein was given is also included. However, this doesn't appear to be the case this time with this stein. Well, folks, that concludes this episode. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and if you did, please hit that like button below and consider subscribing to my channel. Till next time, everyone keep safe and well.